present myself before the king when he hasn't called me? And he said, Esther, you've got to go. Why? Because there's a people who are dependent on you. There's a people who are depending on you. Your people, your own people are depending on you to go before the king, to intercede on their behalf, to make a petition before the king to save their lives. And so there are people that are depending on you to go and to present yourself before the king. There are people who are depending on you to go and to, 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 to bring their case before the king. Right. Why? Because you're in a position to be able to do so. Who is to say that the Lord hasn't called you for such a time as right. this? Who is to say that the Lord hasn't put you in that position for you? And so don't think you got to the kingdom just because of your good looks. Right. Don't be fooled. Yes, yes, you've got good looks and you've got gifts. But you were there because you followed the king's directives. You sought good advice and you followed that advice. And because of that, you've been called into the kingdom. Yes. But don't think that you've been called now that you're there just to sit down and to forget who you are. Yeah. But don't forget about that. She, she forgot who she was and she lost her place. Right. Your people need you. There are people who are dying because they've been sent by the enemy. There's an execution warrant that has been issued for them. And if you do nothing, then they'll die. But Mordecai went on to say, don't think that you'll be excused from it. That's right. Don't think that you'll be exempt from it. Just because you're in the kingdom, you're still a Jew. That's right. Just because you're in the kingdom, you're, 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 you're still a Jew. Remember where you've come from. Don't think that you and your father's house will be exempt. For Mordecai said with such faith and such belief that deliverance will come. Yeah, if you don't deliverance will come to the house. The Lord will not forsake his people. See, in the middle of his test, Mordecai recognized that the Lord would deliver. Yeah. Mordecai wasn't having a panic attack, but he said, listen, now's the time to put into action what we've learned. Now's the time to go and to fast and to seek the Lord for direction as to what we need to do. Now's not the time for us to panic and to think of ourselves, but now is the time to take action and to put into action all the things that we've learned. Yeah. Now is the time for you to go before the king. Hallelujah. We have been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. We have been called to the kingdom for just as the Jews had a warrant out for their execution. So do the souls of men have a warrant out for their own souls. So do the men of the repast day in and day out. They have a warrant on their head for Satan has issued an execution report for each and every one of them. And we have been plucked from the fire and brought into the kingdom. But it's not for us to be comfortable. It's not for us to take our ease inside. Right. But it's to look back to our brothers and sisters. For right. all souls belong to God. Right. It's for us to look back and to go before the king on their behalf. To go before his throne on their behalf. Say, Lord, there's a people who need you. Lord, there's a people in captive middle, Lord, who are strung out on dope, oh God, who have no hope, dear Jesus. Lord, there's a people here in Montreal, oh God, who are so corrupted or so bound by homosexuality, oh God, and bound by all types of spirits, dear Jesus. Lord, there's people, oh God, people that we pass every day on our jobs that are bound by sin and don't know how to find their way out. Yeah. Unless we do anything, they will die, but they don't know how to get out. They're bound. Some of them don't even know that there's a warrant on their heads. Some of them don't even know that there's a death warrant on their lives. But they're dying. And the Lord has brought us to the kingdom to be able to turn back. To reach back and to go before the Lord to petition for their release. And petition for them to intercede on their behalf. To reach out to them. That's right. Amen. My God. The Lord has called us to the kingdom for such a time as this. But we can't get caught up in ourselves and say, no, I, I can't do it. I, 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 can't, I can't go down there and talk to people. I, I, I can't do that. that. That's not my calling. If you've been called to the kingdom, you've been called to work. So whatever your hands find to do, do with all your might. For the great is coming where no man can work. Each and every one of us have been called to the kingdom to work, to labor, to use whatever gifts the Lord has given us to increase the kingdom, to enlarge the kingdom, to, to minister and to, to reach out to people. For the gifts that we've received, they're not for our own good. Right. We didn't give, I get these abilities just so we can make money for ourselves and sustain ourselves, but we've been given the gifts that we have Help. to use for the kingdom. Amen. For not everyone
God can preach like pastor and deliver the word like pastor. But a pastor can't go into the place where you work. He can't minister to the places of people that you see day in and day out. You know, maybe not everyone can sing and play the piano, but not everyone can get down and take care of people, people who are sick, people who are downtrodden. Not everyone can be in your position and minister to the people and, and reach the people that you can reach. Don't minimize your gifts. Right. Don't minimize the role 